Hello, Mula. My name is Edward Conlon, and I'm a writer in New York City, where I'm also a detective with the New York City Police Department. I've written two books. One, a memoir called Blue Blood, which is about my family's 107 years in law enforcement here. And the other one, a novel called Red on Red, which has detectives in it. As you can guess, there's very little imagination involved. These people do all the work for me. And what I do is I knock on a door and people have to tell me a story. Ridiculous, hilarious, awful, tragic, or sometimes even true. I always wanted to write. Uh, I don't think I really hit my stride as a writer until I became a cop. Uh, but the real revelation about writing came to me when I was a teenager, when I realized what writing could do or what could mean. I was a Eugene O'Neill fanatic. I read everything that he wrote and everything written about him. I used to carry this big fat O'Neill biography around with me for years, built muscles. And, um, you know, his great plays are still great uh, to me. The Iceman Cometh, uh, Long Day's Journey, and Tonight, Anna Christie. But it was a not great play that was the revelation. Uh, it was called All God's Children Got Wings, and it, um, I don't remember what happened in it <laughs> at the moment, and I don't remember liking it at the time, but it was about a interracial marriage, and this was on Broadway in the 1920s, so um, controversial isn't even the word for it, because everyone was against it. And what floored me was when I found out that O'Neill didn't care about the politics of it. He wrote it as a kind of psychological allegory to try and understand his parents' marriage. He seized on this vastly complicated, socially incendiary, historically horrifying uh, territory of race in America just to try and figure out why the folks weren't happy at home. There's something grand about that and something incredibly arrogant, awesome and awful at the same time, I guess you could say. And it just showed me that you could push things with incredible force or follow them fearlessly when you're trying to tell a story that I hope to uh, abide by to this day. And so I don't know if I, I, if I write to try and understand the world or to make a world that I can understand, uh, but O'Neill showed me how both of those things are possible. And if I weren't a writer, I would be doing a lot more overtime. Thanks, Mola.